official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois basketball is ranked number eight in the preseason poll, making them a likely candidate for the college basketball bubble. The NCAA announced today that this year's tournament will be played at one location. They said that having all 68 teams in one spot will hopefully enhance health and safety. Right now, they're in talks with the city of Indianapolis to make them the potential host site of the tournament. And that's the home state of 2021 Illinois signee Luke Goody. The four-star recruit will cross state lines from Hoosier territory to join the Illini, except now he lives in a divided household. His dad actually played football at Indiana, and today WCIA 3 Sports Director Brett Barons caught up with Goody at his official signing ceremony where the top 100 player gave major credit to assistant coach Stephen Gentry for getting him to Illinois. Illinois wasn't really an option. I visited it and wasn't too fond of it, didn't really like it as much. And then Coach Gentry came on, I think maybe his second or third day, uh, moving to Illinois, came to football practice, watched my football practice. And then from that day on, we created a relationship that just was, it was a lot different than other coaches. He really didn't feel like a recruiter. He really felt like someone that I've known for a while and that I'd be comfortable with playing for. It. And you can hear more of Brett's conversation with Luke. Just head to our website, WCI.com. We have the full interview posted there. And Goody is the lone commit for the class of 2021, but he could be joined by top 50 recruit Mac Etienne. He's keeping Illinois in his top four schools. The Atlanta made the cut along with Marquette, UCLA, and Miami. The four-star center is one of the top remaining targets for the Illini. But switching gears to Illinois football this week, they might finally get the chance to hop off of this quarter quarterback carousel that they're on in the last four games. Illinois has started four different quarterbacks. Last week, Isaiah Williams made his first career start, but week one starter Brandon Peters will be eligible after he returns following his 21 days that he sat out after testing positive for COVID-19. Offensive coordinator Rod Smith didn't name a starter for this week, but he hinted at maybe playing both guys. You play one at a time, you play two at a time. I think it all depends. It depends on the situation, it depends on the flow of the game. All these type of things. And when you get your opportunity, you got to make the most of it. Isaiah made the most of the opportunity, Saturday. Honestly, whatever the coaches want, I'm going to ride with it. But I know where my heart at, and I know what I want to do, and I know what I'm going to keep getting better at. But at any time, if they need me to make a play for the team, I'm, I'm willing to do it. And his performance against Rutgers was definitely not ignored. After leading Illinois with 192 rushing yards, he earns the Big Ten Freshman of the Week award. And he also joins James McCourt, who was named the Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week. McCourt kicked the game-winning field goal to bring Illinois to their first victory of the season. And they'll look to string a few of those wins together. They have Nebraska on Saturday. Joe, just a quick check at the NFL tonight. Chicago Bears fall 13-9 against the Minnesota Vikings and I want to sincerely apologize to our resident Bears fan uh, Kevin Lighty for for his loss this evening good thing it wrapped up before his his weather cast but uh, I know he's sulking over there in his corner he won't even 